be done with thee this day, and I say, how quick, how quick, how quick. Men are to cast off, to throw away what I do for them. That is, they are quick to abandon the way of my truth and my light, to take up lies. I say, they are quick to pursue the course of darkness, and they are quick to pursue the course of death. And I say, all the while it is me, the living God, who gives unto my own exactly what they have need of to bear much fruit in me. But I say, when the ones who are claiming they are mine will be quick to cast off, to throw away what I give, I say, they wander as fools. Now I say, you can see it with your own eyes, the ones who criticize, the ones who undermine, the ones who think my way is imperfect, what do they gain? I say, they gain nothing except distress and damnation of soul. For I say, can any will be so proud, so high-minded as to imagine, they know more than I know as to what it is that they need in this life. I say they are utter fools, and I say they go in the way of fools, and yes, they are beaten with many stripes. For I say it is me, the living God, who does give to men exactly what they need. And if a man is thankful for my goodness, my mercy, and my truth, then I say that I guide him forth in the same. But I say when a man will be critical, analytical, undermining of my mercy unto him, then I say that he will pay for the same. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to imagine you know more than you know, for you do not. And I say if I take you here and there in my spirit, I say be thankful for the same. That is, do not be as the dull, the dumb, the stupid, who freeze along the way. Then determine that they will boss me around to have things the way they think they should be. For I say that is nothing but the working of pride, and I say that it is abomination unto me. Now I say, if I the living God will bring down pride in a man, I say, be rejoicing for the same. For I say that pride interferes with the working of my spirit and the mind of my spirit. And I say, when men are proud, they are stubbornly resisting me. But I say, when any man will learn to humble himself and walk in the way that I ordain, then I say that he's guided in my life. And yes, he has given the truth each day, for I give unto him the same. Now I say this day, be thankful, be glad that I will guide you, uplift you, direct you, and correct you each day. And I say, be glad that I do purpose you, that you can be kept in me. That is, kept in the truth, the light, the mercy revealed. Kept in the strength that I offer each and every day. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is indeed the way that is righteousness, mercy, hope, and peace provided. And it is me, the living God, who guides you forth, that you can be kept in me. For I say that I will give unto you exactly what you need to be ever guided in my way. And I say that I will give unto you the truth, the light, the mercy, and the strength of who I am. Now I say in the wayward of perverse, a vile, a wicked generation, I say there are multitudes who claim they are mine, yet I say they are not ruled by me. And I say they are ruled by that which is worldliness and godliness, perversion and corruption, and all the while they claim they are mine. But I say they refuse to be ruled by the righteous the standard and dictate that I provide. And I say, in so choosing, they are choosing the way of their own damnation. For I say, if you consider what I did to my people of old, when they claimed they were mine, yet when a whoring, did not I punish them, did not even some of them face premature death. And I say, did not they go into captivity, slavery, bondage, and oppression, because they chose another way. That is, they chose the way of the heathen, the way of the vile, the way of the wicked above my way. And I say, the very fact that they were my people did not stop me from bringing my wrath upon them. And I say, so it is in these times, men and women think if they claim they are mine, then they have bought their way in. That is, by their smooth words, their lying deceptions, and their pretensions, they imagine that they are okay. But I say that the truth of it is they are distanced from me because they choose to live in lies. I say this day that I the living God do not call you to live in lies, but I call you to the truth. And I say that I call you to be thankful that each and every day you are uplifted, guided, and directed by me. And I say that I call you to be thankful that in me you are given the light and the truth and mercy day after day. For I say that I, the living God, will guide you forth in the way that I intend, the way that I provide, the way that is newness of life. I say, therefore, this day, be glad to walk in my way, to be kept in my way, to be uplifted in my way. 
and I say be thankful that I am the one who will renew you in the strength, the power, the truth, and the glory day after day. And I say be thankful that I am the one who will give to you such as you need. For I say when you will be steadily continuing in me, then yes, you are guided forth by me. And I say you are given the blessedness, the truth, and the light upon the path. And I say you are given exactly what you need, for I am ever present to give to you the same. And I say that I will direct, guide, and instruct you each and every day. Therefore I say be glad that it is me, the living God, you may look to, believe, and trust that it is me, the living God, that you can follow after. And I say be thankful that you are indeed purposed, directed, and brought forth by me. I say be thankful that you are indeed given the strength to continue, for I do give unto you the same. And I say that I bring forth those who adhere unto me by a plain path, for it is my purpose to do so. Now I say this day that I, the living God, am weary with the liars, the deceivers, the whores who play their games on me. And I say that I search the earth for the ones who are truly repentant, for the ones who will come into the straight and their way, and be thankful to be redeemed. And I say that I search the earth for the ones who will remain upright and ever guided by me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is righteousness, truth, mercy, hope, and the peace provided to all who believe upon me. I say this day be glad that I am the one who will direct you, correct you, and bring you forth. And I say be glad that you can indeed bend the knee unto me and be subject to my way. For I say when men and women through pride think they may dictate unto me, direct my steps, and instruct me how foolish they are. For I say they are mere men and women who are meant to be subject unto me. Now I say this day that a man may be righteous in his own eyes, and to a degree it is true. But I say that if he has the crown of pride, it is me, the living God, who will crash down the same. That is, I will cause pride to be crumbled and end in a heap. And I say it is that the man may be freed from the captivity of the same to come forth in me. I say this day be glad that I am the one who guides, directs, and instructs you each and every day. And I say be glad that I am the one who purposes you to live in me. For I say when you are accepting of my way, being guided forth by me, then I say you are renewed in me. And yes, you are given exactly what you need, for I the living God am ever present to give unto you the same. Now I say this day count it a privilege to trust me, to believe me, and obey me each and every day. And I say count it a privilege to be guided forth, for I will guide you in life. Count it a privilege to be strengthened, for I will give you my strength. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way that is truth and might, mercy, hope, and peace provided day by day. I say this day that I, the living God, do intend you to walk uprightly, to walk circumspectly, and be ever kept in me. And I say that I do intend you to thank me each day that you are given my light upon the path. For I say when you are coming forth ever uplifted in me, guided by me, and instructed by me, then are you given my hope. But I say when you look to your own ability, your own understanding, and what you think you must have, I say you are looking to the way of a fool. For I say that I, the living God, do provide for you exactly what you need, but I say you fail to serve me in the attitude of gratitude. For I say when you are always grumbling within and thinking you know more than you know, then I say that you have pride that needs to be humbled down. And I say that you must indeed cleanse yourself of the unrighteousness of pride, for the same will devour and restore your soul. For I say wherever a man or a woman holds a high image of themselves as though they are better than they are, as though they are better than I, as though they are also knowing, I say they are literally knowing nothing at all, except the way of a fool and damnation of soul. I say this day you are living in times when my wrath is being revealed upon the proud, the defiant, defiant, the stubborn, the ones who must have their way. For I say the way that they want is the way of their own destruction. And I say they are fools who must be beaten by my wrath revealed in order that some will come to the soberness of truth and walk in the same. But I say that the vast majority are drunken on pride and desire to remain more intoxicated by the day. And I say it is because they are believing in themselves, believing in the world, and believing in the vanity of the saints. I say that I, the living God, do not call you to trust in lies, to trust in that which is falsehood and deception, but I say that I call you to trust in me. And I say that I call you to be thankful that each day you can be guided in life, and given the hope, the truth, the mercy, and the purpose of who I am. 
For I say to me, so are you given all that you need. And I say to me, so are you directed, corrected, and brought forth. I say even now, be glad for the privilege to look to me, to believe me and trust me, for I am the I am. And I say, be made glad even now that you are guided and choose by me. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is all righteousness, mercy, hope, and truth provided. And it is me, the living God, who does guide forth the people who will be faithful and true to me. I say, this day, be glad when I, the living God, do give you the opportunity to walk in my humility, to be repentant, and be freed of pride. I say, do not be clinging to some proud image of yourself, no matter how much you think that was serving me. For I say when you will hold on to something in pride, when you will hold on to something as though you are better than you are, you are holding to lies. And I say that I, the living God, do not want you to be bound in lies nor deception, but I want you to be bound in the truth. And I say that I want you to be by court directed, corrected, and instructed by me. I say thank me and praise me that you can indeed bend a knee unto me, that you can indeed be guided forth by me day by day. And I say, be thankful that I will give to you exactly what you need to be purposed in me. For I say, it is me, the living God, who delights when my people will walk in my way and be guided forth by me. And it is me, the living God, who does direct the ones who are mine, that they can indeed be found abiding in life. Now I say, this day, there are many in this world who think they, they know how to rule, how to reign, and oh, how much they troop up themselves for others to believe in them. But I say they are mere men, mere women, and they cannot do what they imagine they can do. For I say when men are under the pressure, they find they are nothing but fools, but they will not admit to the same. I say instead they go on with the facade, the bluff, leading others into the same ditch that they are in. I say this day that I, the living God, am angry with the fools who will not be subject to me, who will not accept my rule over them. For I say such ones as these are driven by pride and the false opinion as to how great they are. But I say that the truly humble will be thankful for my way and walk each day in gratitude in the same. And I say they will serve me with gladness, rejoicing for the privilege to be redeemed. Now I say consider this day when you have a continual complaint. Are you serving in gratitude? Or are you expecting some great thing that you can brag and boast in yourself? I say do not look to brag nor to boast, but I say look to obey me and be thankful to be ruled by me. All of ACMTC's publications are free and postpaid, so you have no excuse except in willingness or fear of knowing the truth. Do not write or email ACMTC to obtain the wisdom and counsel of Jesus Christ. Write in your own hands to read and pass out to others this are in need of repentance and of warning of God's immediate impending wrath and judgments upon sinners worldwide. We also have free DVDs of these and earlier presentations of rare and censured, censured by apostate Christianity, that is, Jerusalem, and all Bible subjects, as well as unbelievably correct social, cultural, and political subjects for you to begin learning and acting upon as soon as possible. Repent for eternal life. Repent for eternal life. Repent for eternal life. Repent for eternal life.